Ladies and gentlemen, after a brief hiatus, little vacation time over the weekend, I'm back. That's right, Brickhouse is back and better than ever. Um, to kick things off on this Monday, we know Hollywood is out of ideas. We know specifically Disney is out of ideas. They keep rehashing, re-imaging, live action, updated stories, you name it. Snow White, Little Mermaid, Lion King, Aladdin, just to name a few. Well, now our friends to the north, our friends in Canada, have decided they're going to get in on this. And you will not believe. Actually, it kind of, yeah, I do believe um, what they're doing to the iconic character, the iconic story, Robin Hood. That's right. The same Robin Hood who resides in the Sherwood Forest with his merry men. Who is the foil to the Sheriff of Nottingham. You know, he steals from the rich, gives to the poor. He's a hero among the masses. But to King John and the Sheriff, he's a thief. Well, now we have our first first look at Robin Hood. That's right. Robin Hood. Not Robin with an I, but Robin with a Y. Global TV reveals first look at woke race replaced Robin Hood. Not only race replaced, but gender swap too. You get a you get a three for one deal here, folks. Uh, Global TV shared a first look at their upcoming Woke and Race Replaced TV series, Robin Hood. The company's official X account shared a brief 30-second teaser that provided a first look at the series earlier this month. They also revealed the series would be streaming on the Stack TV service. The company's publicity account would share a poster for the series to X as well, writing... Coming this fall to Global TV and Stack TV, supersized new reality TV and all new... Canadian original drama, Robin Hood. Yes, folks. This is Robin Hood. The series, which was originally announced back in January 2022 and went into production in June 2022 with Canadian music video director X helming the series with a story from Orphan Black Star or from Black Story coordinator Chris Roberts. In the original press release announcing the series, Global TV shared an official synopsis. In this modern take on the Robin Hood legend, Robin is a fearless young woman who is not just another superhero with abilities normal people don't have. She is a Gen Zer driven by the injustices of today who embraces the heroic, hopeful, and playful elements of the world's most recognizable folk hero. Wow. A continued she fight. She learns to fight for what's right, to care for and lead her followers. And like all Robin Hoods since the first ballad, Robin holds the, those in power to account by using their greed against them to help her community. Robin Hood follows Robin Loxley, a young woman whose masked hip hop band, The Hood, is known for their inventive videos and anti-authoritarian message. The synopsis relayed, she lives in Sherwood Towers, a cluster of rental high-rises in a working-class corner of New Nottingham, a nearby city where the cost of living has skyrocketed, leaving an ever-widening gap between the rich and everyone else. It concludes when Robin finds herself fighting for her home and her family against local property developer John Prince, and the sheriff of New Nottingham, Robin and her band, The Hood, decide to fight back, righting the wrongs of the corrupt elite to give back 
to the people who are living under their regime. This is so SJW. And, of course, you had to throw in the girl boss. Because we have to have a strong woman. Global TV affirmed the show would be an eight-episode, one-hour contemporary re-imaging of the Robin Hood legend. I have one question. Why? They added that the show follows fearless heroine Robin Loxley, an anti-authoritarian mass hip-hop band, The Hood, as they call out injustices and fight for freedom and equality in the city of New Nottingham. Not only was Robin Hood being changed from a male to a female, but he was also getting race replaced with Pennyworth actress Jesse Romeo playing Robin Loxley. Robin Hood is not the only character getting race replaced. Little John is being portrayed by Nikeem Provo, Friar Tuck, or just Tuck. An eccentric hacker in this version is being played by Jonathan Langdon. Maid Marion also got the race replacement treatment. The character is called Miriam Fitzwater and is now being played by Sidney Coon. The character is also described as a determined lawyer. The Sheriff of Nottingham is getting gender swap with Kira. I think that's Gullion taking on the role. Interestingly, Prince John, or John Prince in this show, described as a wealthy and villainous real estate tycoon, is still a white man depicted by Ian Matthews. So, you, can, you guys can tell me what you think in the comments down below. I think this is a train wreck. I'm glad it's up in Canada. I hope it does not make its way to the United States, because nobody's going to watch this crap. So, while you're at it, sharing your opinion please take the time to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell to get notified when my content becomes available here on youtube and like i said i'm back for a new week refreshed ready to go and with that um thank you for watching and i will see you later <laughs>